When you arrive at this campground in an Olympic Peninsula forest, you won't have to put up a tent or unpack a sleeping bag. But do not call this glamping for one simple reason. So we are 100% off grid, yet we still are able to provide um, a lot of the amenities that you would get if you went and stayed somewhere else. Mark Emmons has lived on this land off grid with his family for 10 years. Every morning I step outside, I'm just blown away. Like it's such a gorgeous area. He wanted to share this special place near Lake Cushman, so he started Olympic Wilderness Base Camp. So this is one of our um, geodesic domes. Insulated tents with big picture windows that bring the outdoors in. They also have two opening windows that add additional light. Um, however, with the big bay window, it's usually not an issue, we get a lot of light. This secluded spot may not have electricity or running water, but it does have camp stoves and fire pits for cooking, solar generators for keeping things charged, and wood stoves for heat. The bathroom situation? Uh, yeah, the, one of the biggest questions out there. Yeah, so we actually, every dome has its own portable toilet. This camp is dog friendly, and it has a friendly dog. So Vader's our black lab. He's an amazing dog. Um, he is notorious for just showing up at your campfire and lying down. There's one resource this place has plenty of, peace. The quiet is massive. I mean, people say they love it. Uh, they love the atmosphere of it. The seclusion is a big part for most people. Lindsay Keller camped here recently with her husband. I love that the domes have the clear open front. We actually slept with the um, curtains partway open so that the sunlight would come in in the morning. I love waking up and seeing the sunlight and just the way it reflects off the trees and that was really a huge treat for me. Olympic Wilderness Base Camp may not have electricity, but this combination of comfort and nature has plenty of power.